Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to share with you some of the concepts from the topic the characteristic properties of acids and bases. The word acid was originally applied to substances with a sour taste. Vinegar, lemon, grapefruit juice and spoiled milk are all sour tasting because of the presence of acids. These acids are present in animal and plant material and are known as organic acids. A number of acids are also corrosive. They can eat their way through clothing, are dangerous on the skin, and some are able to attack stonework and metals. These powerful acids are often called mineral acids. Some common examples of acids is shown here in this table. Organic acids which are weaker and where it is found or uses then comes mineral acids uses and they are stronger acids the easiest way to detect whether a solution is acidic or not is to use an indicator indicators are substances that change color if they are put into an acid or alkaline solution the commonly used indicators are litmus thymolphthalein Methyl orange, phenolphthalein. So here are the indicators which changes its color in acid and alkali. Blue litmus, red in acid and blue in alkali. Red litmus, red in acid, blue in alkali. Methyl orange, pink in acid, yellow in alkali. Thymophthalein, colorless in acid and blue in alkali. Phenolphthalein, colorless in acid, and pink in alkali. The next type of indicator is a universal indicator. To obtain an idea of how acidic or alkaline a substance is, we use another indicator known as a universal indicator. This indicator is a mixture of many other indicators. The color shown by the indicators can be matched against a pH scale. The scale is shown here. If it's strongly acidic, the pH range will be around the red region and if it's strongly alkaline, the blue region, violet region, it reaches up to 14. Another way in which the pH of a substance can be measured is by using a pH meter. This is a pH meter. The next subtopic is acids and alkalis. An acid is a substance that produces hydrogen ions when dissolved in water. The higher the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution, the lower the pH. An alkali is a substance that produces hydroxide ions, OH- when dissolved in water. Rules for the pH scale. Acids have a pH less than 7. The more acidic a solution, the lower the pH. Neutral substances such as pure water have a pH of 7. Alkalis have a pH greater than 7. Bronster Lowry theory. This theory defines an acid as a proton donor and a base as a proton acceptor. A base is a metal oxide or metal hydroxide that neutralizes an acid to produce a salt and water. An alkali is a soluble base. All alkalis are bases, but only soluble bases are called alkalis. Example of bases is shown here, copper oxide and zinc oxide. Alkalis, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide. What do you mean by strong acids? A strong acid is an acid that is completely dissociated in aqueous solution. Hydrochloric acid is a strong acid. As you can see here, it completely dissociates to form H plus and Cl minus ions. H2SO4 gives H plus and SO4 2 minus ions. HNO3 gives H plus and NO3 minus ions. Weak acids are acids that are partially dissociated in aqueous solution. Example, ethanoic acid. As you can see here, CH3COOH is ethanoic acid, which dissociates only partly. H plus plus CH3COO minus, it's a reversible reaction. It never goes to completion.
Strong alkali and weak alkali. Strong alkalis completely ionize in water. They break up completely to produce a high concentration of hydroxide ions in the solution. Sodium hydroxide is a strong alkali. NaOH dissociates to give Na plus plus OH minus. Weak alkalis only partially ionize in water. Only a small fraction of their molecules break into hydroxide ions when added to water. Ammonia is a weak alkali. Ammonia plus water gives ammonium ion plus hydroxide ion. It's a reversible reaction. What are the characteristic properties of acids? The first reaction is between acids and metals. Only metals above hydrogen in the reactivity series will react with dilute acids. When acids react with metals, they form a salt and hydrogen gas. If a metal reacts with hydrochloric acid, the salt produced is metal chloride. If a metal reacts with sulfuric acid, the salt produced is metal sulfate. And if a metal reacts with nitric acid, the salt produced is metal nitrate. Examples are shown here. Magnesium plus hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen. Aluminium plus hydrochloric acid gives aluminium chloride plus hydrogen. Zinc plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus hydrogen. The next reaction is between acids and bases. Metal oxides and metal hydroxides or alkalis can act as bases. When they react with acid, a neutralization reaction occurs. In all acid-base neutralization reactions, salt and water are produced. For example, nitric acid reacts with magnesium oxide to give magnesium nitrate plus water. Similarly, nitric acid can react with lithium hydroxide to form lithium nitrate and water. Another example, sulfuric acid plus calcium oxide gives calcium sulfate plus water. Sulfuric acid reacts with calcium hydroxide, producing calcium sulfate plus water. The next reaction is between acids and metal carbonates. Acids will react with metal carbonates to form the corresponding metal salt, carbon dioxide, and water. Example, sulfuric acid plus iron 2 carbonate gives iron 2 sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Another example, calcium carbonate plus 2 HCl gives calcium chloride plus water plus carbon dioxide. Zinc carbonate plus sulfuric acid gives zinc sulfate plus water plus carbon dioxide. Let's see the characteristic properties of bases. The first reaction is between bases and acids. This is the same reaction which we have seen earlier with acids and bases. It's a neutralization reaction. It produces salt and water. Examples, nitric acid plus magnesium oxide gives magnesium nitrate plus water. And similar reaction is shown below also. Another example, sulfuric acid plus calcium oxide and calcium hydroxides gives the respective salt and water. Note that a reaction between metal hydroxide and an acid can be represented by an ionic equation between the hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions to form water molecules. H plus plus OH minus gives H2O. Also, note that the reaction of metal hydroxides with acids is exothermic. That is, heat energy is given out. The second reaction of bases is alkalis reacting with ammonium salt. Ammonium salts undergo decomposition when warmed with an alkali. Even though ammonia is itself a weak base, it is volatile and can be easily displaced from the salt by another alkali. A salt, water and ammonia are produced. Ammonium chloride plus sodium hydroxide gives sodium chloride plus water plus ammonia. This reaction is used as a chemical test to confirm the presence of ammonium ion. Alkali is added to the substance with gentle warming followed by the test for ammonia gas using damp red litmus paper. The damp litmus paper will turn from red to blue if ammonia is present. The next subtopic is oxides. Oxides are chemical compounds with one or more oxygen atoms combined with another element. Oxides are binary compounds of oxygen with another element. Example, 
carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, calcium oxide, carbon monoxide, zinc oxide, water, etc. These are termed as oxides because here oxygen is in combination with only one element. Based on their acid-base characteristics, oxides are classified as acidic, basic, amphoteric and neutral. Acidic oxides An oxide that combines with water to give an acid is termed as acidic oxides. These are the oxides of non-metals, example carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide. It reacts with water to give the respective acids. Basic oxides. The oxide that gives a base in water is known as a basic oxide. Generally, group 1 and group 2 elements form basic oxides, example copper oxide and calcium oxide. Basic oxides are the oxides of metals. If soluble in water, they react with water to produce hydroxides or alkalis. Calcium oxide plus water gives calcium hydroxide. Magnesium oxide plus water gives magnesium hydroxide. Sodium oxide plus water gives sodium hydroxide. The next classification is amphoteric oxides. An amphoteric oxide is a substance that can chemically react as either acid or base. Example, aluminum oxide and zinc oxide. Amphoteric oxides exhibit both basic as well as acidic properties. When they react with an acid, they produce salt and water, showing basic properties. While reacting with alkalis, they form salt and water, showing acidic properties. These are the reactions which shows the example. Zinc oxide exhibits basic behavior with HCl, forming zinc chloride and water. Zinc oxide exhibits acidic behavior with sodium hydroxide, forming sodium zincate and water. Similarly, aluminum oxide exhibits basic behavior with sulfuric acid, forming aluminum sulfate and water. Aluminum oxide exhibits also acidic behavior with sodium hydroxide, forming sodium aluminate plus water. The next classification is neutral oxides. Neutral oxides show neither basic nor acidic properties and hence do not form salts when reacted with acids or bases. Example, carbon monoxide, nitrous oxide, nitric oxide are neutral oxides. That's all. Thank you so much for watching this video.